we just finished talking about the first phase of the locally linear embedding algorithm, where we constructed local models of the manifolds surrounding each of the individual training points. And now it's time to take the next phase, which is that embedding step. So here we introduce a new feature space. It's an M-dimensional feature space. We're going to designate points in this space as Zs. And for each point that we had in our original training set, the Xis, we have a corresponding Zi in this new space. We get to pick the location of these Zis, but we're going to do so such that they respect the neighborhood relationships that we learned in the previous phase. And in particular, those neighborhoods are expressed in terms of the weights that we've already learned. So let's look at the mathematics. So we have our original feature space, and now we're going to uh, construct a new one. I, it's hard to draw more than two dimensions here, but the original feature space is n-dimensional, and this is m-dimensional over here. And for a point xi uh, over here, there's a corresponding point that we'll designate as zi. And of course, we want to choose M such that we're quite a bit smaller than our original uh, feature space size. In the previous phase, we constructed these local models where we estimated the location of XI in terms of its neighbors. And we're going to do the same on the ZI side. So we have a ZI hat, which is a weighted sum of the local neighbors. So, so NJ is that neighborhood and we have ZJ here and WIJ. So this WIJ, these are the weights from the previous step. And we're free to select all of the ZIs. This is ZJ, by the way. And now what our cost function is, is it looks like this. So this is our estimated location for z i. And we're going to compute a sum squared reconstruction error, just as we did in the previous phase. So our new cost function in this new space is a sum over all samples. And in the book, what they, what they say is sum over all samples, and this is magnitude of the difference between the real position and the reconstruction. And that's squared. So, so again, these two expressions say the same thing. So the optimization problem looks like this. We're going to select for all of our ZIs, I'm going to designate this new selection as Z double hat. This is just, we're going to minimize our selection over, over all possible choices for our Zs. We're going to minimize this E hat cost function. And whichever one minimizes E hat, those are the Zs that we're going to end up selecting. So this is not a unique choice. That very first I that gets put down somewhere in this space uh, is an arbitrary choice. But then on out, there are constraints as to where the, where the rest of the Zs actually go, where the Zis actually go in, into the space. So we won't talk about the mathematics of solving this particular problem, but I at least wanted to give you a sense of uh, how this embedding process actually worked. Next up, we're going to so that completes our learning process, the phase one and phase two pieces uh, of our learning process. And the remaining question that we have to answer is that when we have a unique query point in the original space, how do we address that? So that's the next video.